Hello everyone. I wanted to put out a video today about intuition. I had put out a video the other day about uh, being in alignment and what that means and how do you know when you're living in alignment and not living in alignment. And I wanted to follow up with a video about following our intuition. I'll start out with what intuition is. We all have innate intuition, the ability to be led by our inner knowing. And most people know of that as their spidey sense or their gut instinct, where their gut has gotten them out of trouble at some point. So they've been in a city walking down an alley and they've decided that they need to not go any further because they're in danger. That is indeed your intuition. However, what if we could not not just utilize our intuition for getting ourselves out of an emergency, but we could use it to lead us and guide us in our life. That is what spiritual growth is all about, is be becoming more in tune with your intuition and trusting yourself. We are programmed as humans to be logical and realistic, and we are led by our egos throughout most of our lives. Most people are anyway. When we're taught to be realistic and logical, we are taught to work harder when things get challenging, dig, dig deeper, try something new, really kind of try and control the situation more is basically what we are all taught. But that is not the nature of spiritual growth and it does not line up with our soul's purpose. In this vein of not trying to climb the corporate ladder or try to gain status, in order to progress, we have to let go and flow. So what does that mean? It means to not hold on so tightly to things. It is counterintuitive to most people to say that if something is not working, to let it go and let it flow. But that is literally the answer. There is an opening for information to come in. And that information can't come in when we are fighting and pushing and our egos are in charge and we're trying to control everything. It is only when we move on to something else, another task, or we forget about whatever we're trying to deal with altogether that we actually gain clarity. This is Spirit's way of helping us see that they've got us. We are indeed being guided and supported, but we stubborn ass humans have to be in control of everything. We feel like we're the ones making everything happen. Not so much. Our own inner knowing, our intuition, and our spirit guides are in charge when we are in the flow. We can't be in charge and guided or led at the same time. So if we want our higher self to call the shots, we have to give up the control and let it flow. Take a nap, go for a walk, stop working harder and fighting, it is not the answer. Getting our ego out of the way and allowing our intuition to guide us and trusting that our higher selves know what's best for us is the answer to living a fulfilled life with calm, balance, harmony, all the good stuff. So let's get our egos out of the way, start allowing ourselves the time and space for openings to happen and start trusting our own intuition. I hope that this video about intuition has been helpful and I look forward to the next video. Who knows what it'll be about, but I'm sure it'll be in the same vein. So you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.